Music has always been an integral component of a well-rounded experience. Regardless of the medium, any person can recall a great deal of memories simply from a short clip of music that is associated with something they remember. Similarly, it is also the imagination that can be spurred on by these auditory cues, prompting a wide host of vivid images, thoughts, and feelings that can further enhance the experience. Such is the case for many shows, movies, and video games where everyone can feel the true impact of how music dictates their perception to what is happening on the screen. It transforms the fictional world from only being an image to one that we can imagine for ourselves to escape into. It provides us feeling for what we are journeying into, whether those feelings are those of trepidation, excitement, or ambivalence. Nonetheless, there is a game that, in recent years, has taken the entire gaming sphere by storm. One that has changed the landscape of what first-person shooter games should strive to be. By the title, you already know what game I'm referring to, Escape from Tarkov. Built on a foundation that borrows the muddled behaviors of private corporations and governments of the real world, the world of Tarkov is defined by seemingly post-apocalyptic visuals, and with such a grim setting, it's appropriately defined by its music that fits the dark, depressed nature that is Tarkov. However, to understand the meaning and impact of the music, we must first understand the general story behind how Tarkov went from a bustling city of promise to a modern nightmare of a battlefield. In northwestern Russia, there is an area that once existed as a prosperous center of economic development, but over the recent decade found itself mired in a toxic and increasingly dangerous conspiracy among its own local government and the highly secretive and controversial Terra Group. Protected by the well-funded and heavily armed USEC, Terra Group would face great scrutiny by the Russian government, which in turn deployed its own autonomous military force to investigate and stop Terra Group's illegal activities. What this ultimately resulted in was law and order in Tarkov being completely lost and violence spilling out into the streets, leaving only the unscrupulous thugs known as scavs and the remaining contractors from both USEC and Bear to fend for themselves. To make matters worse, nearly every vehicle has been disabled throughout the entire region due to an EMP occurring sometime during the escalation of the conflict. This is the setting for Escape from Tarkov, and it's clear that the situation is showing absolutely no signs of improving. No matter where you go, everything is abandoned. From a giant shopping mall that thousands once roamed all the way to a well-stocked military bunker, there is no normal left. With all of the common citizenry leaving during the initial outbreak of fighting, all who are left in Tarkov are seeking something for themselves. With the conflict blown completely out of proportion, the populace, just like in any other war, are paying the price. The atmosphere is bleak, often so to emphasize the fact that the city of Tarkov has already passed the point of no return. From the player's perspective, there is virtually no sense of normalcy anywhere in Tarkov save for the interactions with a handful of traders. With the world of Tarkov visually set, I want to draw your attention to the main menu of the game. At first glance, there isn't much that is apparent, but it's here that we can catch a glimpse of the music that accompanies this page. From a somber, contemplative theme to an intense metal piece, there's a wide variety of music that speaks to the situation that Tarkov is in. Adding to the impressive world created by Battlestate Games, the music is composed by Gene Byrne, whose real name is Nikita Buyanov, who is the game director and head of studio for Battlestate Games. It's not every day that you hear the lead director also composing the excellent music for an already expansive game. Looking at the music, the titles of each song alludes to a fact of life that everyone in Tarkov would be accustomed to. Take for example, The Blood We Spill, which refers to the losses that the Russian combatants have experienced in their battle against Terra Group. The image accompanying the track brings us to that dreary world 
washed out with no color and places what appears to be a bear contractor in the middle of the woods. The song itself starts out as a slow burner introduced by Gene Burns' signature electronic rhythm while complemented by an arpeggiating series of piano notes. music slowly ratchets up to a full-blown metal piece that excites you to jump straight into a raid. Likewise, Denial starts with the electronic hum that virtually every other track has, and instead of being a solemn piece, this one seeks to evoke the sense of disbelief, anger, and resolution that those who remain in Tarkov have towards the current crisis. It's pure, non-stop action throughout the entire song, and this piece makes you wonder, if you are stuck within a desolate zone with little to no hope of getting out alive, how would you react to that? Denial? You'd fight as if there was no tomorrow to increase your chances of survival, and that's exactly the emotion that this song brings out. Rules of Engagement, which alluding to its title, even begins with a military-like drum sequence, giving the impression of the operators' attitudes as they progress with their objectives. The main theme of the game, aptly named Prepare for Escape, conveys the melancholy that one may feel at the prospect of not only losing their home, but also being trapped in an area that is now hostile and willfully being ignored by the international community. In the same way, the song Dark Horizons represents the literal and figurative Dark Horizons looming over the city of Tarkov. All anyone in the city can do at this point is to find some form of shelter and weather out the incoming storm of trouble. Each track carries its own personality that provides a new perspective to what Tarkov means to the remaining groups of people in the city. For some, it's resorting to barbarity and instinctual behavior, while for others, it's simply business as usual. And thus, the music of Tarkov is a microcosm of what the world is. Surrounded by the best and worst of humanity, there are simply too many emotions that an individual can feel from witnessing the actions of those around us, and as such comes a variety of perspectives, from what may be construed as normal reactions to the downright primitive responses which seek to only boost themselves and their pleasures, something that the scav faction represents perfectly. As you can see and hear, Gene Burns music not only sets the stage that you, the player, are preparing to dive into, it brings an already dying cityscape and puts it on life support, creating a hellish outlet for those sealed within the Norvinsk region.
it makes clear the meaning of what the desperation each character faces and why you are seeking to escape from Tarkov. In fact, it's ever more appropriate that the theme of misery and war is being explored in Tarkov because other games that contain similar locations and characters not only exhibit a comparable setting but also drape their own worlds with an oppressive, haunting soundtrack stuffed with meaningful motifs that not only place you in the character's shoes but also absorbs you into their world. Take for example Call of Duty World at War's beginning of the Russian campaign where the color is washed out only slowly returning after slowly realizing the precarious situation that the protagonist finds himself in. Stuck in a fountain full of dead comrades, he eventually meets up with Viktor Reznov, a former sniper who ultimately gives his rifle to the player to hunt down a high-ranking general. The sentiment of unbelievable loss is evident. The city of Stalingrad is destroyed, gutted from the inside out with nothing but misery and death. Even the words of Reznov echo this attitude. For days. I've crept through shadows like a rat. But this place once echoed with conversations of friends and lovers. No longer. Even after eliminating their target, there is no celebration, no joy. Rather, this act only strengthens the resolve of Reznov to continue fighting the Nazis from Stalingrad all the way to Berlin. Listen to how the soundtrack of the Eastern Campaign begins in a somber mood, but near the end of the campaign grows to a triumphant and victorious boom. As long as you may. The impactful sense of winning the war where the odds were stacked against you, however, is made all the more potent when you give your attention to what was lost during the struggle. And in this, there is perhaps no better example than the iconic track Never Forget from Halo 3. Humanity, on the brink of being annihilated, managed to save itself to fight another day, but in doing so, incurred a massive loss, both mentally and physically. The song is the perfect mixture of mourning, remembrance, and hopefulness in that the struggles taken on by the characters will be for a worthwhile cause. Both of these examples have the same thematic elements that Tarkov has, tying in the sense of the drudgery and misery of war. The music of all three games allow us to gain the perspective that contributes to the impact of what's really going on in the game world. This is quite valuable since it grounds us not only in reality, but also sympathetic to the motivations and trials of the factions and characters. The exhilarating rush of intense metal guitar provides a glimpse into perhaps how an operator may get that same rush of excitement from a firefight. It's fast and violent. Every song has a specific mood and purpose that is further defined by its title. So in this epic conflict between state and saboteur, we are given the front seat to experience what it's like to be in the midst of chaos. But as visuals alone cannot convey the sheer hopelessness of the desolation in Tarkov, Gene Burns' music adds the pivotal layer that completes the world building for Russia 2028, the overall concept that Escape from Tarkov falls under. In fact, Battlestate Games has been setting the stage for Tarkov since their early web-based game Contract Wars, which introduced both the Yusek and Bear factions fighting one another. 
Therefore, Escape from Tarkov is essentially an evolution and extension of the world that Battlestate Games is building. It's undeniable and frankly an understatement to say that music has a significant impact on the way players experience Tarkov. Similar to countless other games before it, players have found value in the additional layer of complexity that music adds to the game by further establishing the characters, factions, and greater world that the developers want them to explore. In addition to this, the association between the music and the visuals reinforce the intended meaning of not only how the player should expect to experience the game, but to also know the what behind the game. Escape from Tarkov's music contains instruments and sounds that are consistent with what someone could reasonably expect from that region of the world. With this, players are immediately immersed in the struggles within Tarkov through the eyes of those who are unfortunate enough to be trapped there, and Gene Byrne's compositions provide the inner thoughts to each character we play as. So, the next time you get on Prepare Your Kit, Take a moment to consider the music, see what state of mind it gets you into, and how the world of Russia 2028 awaits you as you prepare to escape from Tarkov.